Hey, it's time for Eric Plays Gwent 182. So I'm streaming um, Gwent for the first time, doing Halloween stuff. Just finished some TF2. Got Noni the Pup here. This is, I don't have this whole thing here set up for streaming, so uh, you won't see her texts. But I figured let's just get the stream, keep the stream going. Don't know what this is going to end up getting filed under because I didn't stop the stream before I updated the information. Maybe Twitch is smart enough to make that its own thing. Don't hear the sound, but there may not be any sound yet. Ah, so um, this is Gwent. This is a um, what are these called? G GCC. Uh, it's like a Magic the Gathering, basically, but based on Witcher. There we go. Now I can hear stuff. Ooh, very Halloween-y sounding. Alright. So, let's go here. <laughs> Season of the Cat. Switcheroo. Alright, let me see if there's anything I need to do to play Seovine. In treasure chest by winning games. Alright, so as you can see, Seovine is their uh, Halloween. The music sounds very Halloween y. Alright, let's just play normal. I haven't really been paying attention to what they may or may not have changed, so my deck may be complete garbage. Because, uh, you know, they, just like an M MMO or whatever, they're constantly nerfing things and buffing things and all that. Alright. So I'm the guy on the bottom. I'm Geralt. Playing against what whoever's up there. Alright, cool. So like I said before, this will be the first time that I'm uh, streaming this. So I'll try to make sure to talk as I go. Alright, so this thing, as I play Siege Engines, will do special things. I've got enough Siege Engines for that to make sense. This is a... Yeah, this is a relatively good deck. Um, I might get rid of this guy for now and get rid of that guy. Alright, this is going to be an interesting round because normally I want to play this guy with a healer because every time he gets healed he damages someone on the other side. Um, Alright, so they're going first. All right, I love this guy too because every time this guy dies Next time it's around, um, he'll come back. He'll only come back with one uh, HP, but that's still pretty cool. Alright. Um, so, I'm going to start with this spy, because I'm not sure what I want to do yet. So, I'm going to... Spies go on their side, so it gives them points. So, right now she has nine points. Ah, crap. I didn't want to waste this dude, because no, it's kind of a pointless card unless they have someone that has nine powers. Alright. Uh, this one, on the other hand, not so bad. Maybe I'll damage the guy that I just gave him. So right now I've got six to his eight. Um, and basically what we want to do is, uh, highest, highest score at the end of the round, uh, wins the round. It's best two out of three. So this card, see, it kills anyone with nine or more power. I wouldn't have wanted it to come out like that. Now it's kind of just a pointless three card. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let's see. All right, I'm going to pop this guy in and kill that and lower that guy a little bit. Oh, I should have actually focused on him. That was kind of a dumb move, but it's been a while since I played. Oh, there goes this guy. Or at least he won't... Now that he's been... Oh! Oh, that was a smarter move. Alright. Very cool. Unfortunately... Ooh, what's a reinforced trebuchet? Is that different than it, what it used to be? No, same as it always was. That said, I think I want to start... Doing this. Just to take advantage. Alright, let's knock that guy. Now they're not going to be able to put anything on the back row because if they do this guy's going to automatically kill someone in the back row every turn 
this guy, this is crazy, because if he kills someone, he gets another dude. So that's a dangerous card to leave on the on the um in the field of play. He's probably gonna combine this guy with that guy. Yep, now he gets another one. Alright. So I'm gonna pop this guy here. All right, let's try and take this guy out, and we'll heal him. Part of the strategy is also in deciding when to pass, because maybe he's so far up that I can't win, and so I just decide to let him win. Oh wow, that guy is not going anywhere. That's okay. This guy will attack him. Oh boy. Alright, so this guy doesn't get to charge anymore. Alright. Let's... Hold on, before I do that, let's bring this guy on the field. Hurts everybody some random amount. Alright. Now, this is by two. Let's get rid of that guy. This gets rid of one of the higher two guys. And... I will do that. Okay, so now I'm winning by two, but this game could flip on a dime. So. Sure. Nice mess you've got here. Alright, it's kind of late in the game to use this one. It won't get to do all its things, so I'm probably not going to use that one unless I absolutely have to. Alright, that was pointless, because unless she's gonna do, he's going to do something where they're going to pull someone that's locked. Alright, so... I'm going to pop this guy in. Heal him so he attacks somebody. I'm going to attack someone, okay. High game at the moment. Alright, if I'm going to play this guy, I should play him now so he has three turns to boost himself. <laughs> Very smart turn. Alright, at this point, there's no way I can win. I'm just going to pass. I like that here you can kind of... Oh, you didn't get to see it. You can interact with the background. I'll show you that afterwards. All right, now we've got a new round where we get a few more cards and then keep going. All right, don't care for this guy. That one's a really cool card. All right, not bad. So they get to go first because they won. So you see, I can interact with this pinwheel back here. I can make these uh, fireworks go off once they move out of the way. You see, this guy comes back. Alright. Alright, so... I'm going to start off with someone where it doesn't matter what row they're on. So they move the person, who cares? Alright. Kind of click here. Make some... Uh, flower petals come up. Alright. <coughs> Alright, so they're gonna save that for later. They probably have someone that when they get charges will do something cool. Alright, he still hasn't moved somebody, so that kind of worries me. Because some people have to be in a certain area in order to do something. All right, I'm going to put uh, 
I'm gonna put her. She heals the person next to her, and if I give her another power, she heals both sides. Person seems to be really, really considering their strategy. So probably one strategy would be to move her down with this guy, because then she's not healing anybody. She's lucky I already used my Geralt, because this person is getting dangerously close to nine, which is always a, hard, a dangerous number to be at, because they can, uh, Geralt will just knock that person out. So they've got a very strong hand. This is very, very strong what they got going on here. Alright, so if I want to use this, I should use it now. I'm going to put it on her. So now kind of everyone's going up, kind of keeping me from falling too far behind on... Um... See, I knew he would do that. He moved, he moved them down. That's fine. Because I've got another of the same thing here that I can pop here. The shield means the first time they get hit, it doesn't actually hurt them. So that's a nice card to have. That's why they start at such a low number. That and the fact that they duplicate themselves. Alright, he's going to lock her, so she's no, no longer useful. Alright, so I'm going to put this guy who attacks every turn. And I'm going to go ahead and heal that guy. So I'm not too far behind, you can see, even though they have a very strong hand. And I've got one more card than they do, so I've got a card advantage. Doesn't mean I'm going to win, but it's an advantage nonetheless. Okay, the cool thing about this guy is I flip him, now he's back to five. Uh, I'm going to put this guy, which gives a shield to every new card I put up. I didn't want to put him before when this guy was still active, because if he drops him, then he's not he doesn't do his thing anymore. She's about to get to 9, though, which is dangerous. If he had... if Well, no, because they're going to play their last card now. So they'll probably pass. They didn't pass. Destroy enemy with 9. I don't know why they didn't pass. Alright, I can pass, because I'm winning. So I will. That way I have more cards later. So I won this round. Go to the next round, so it's best two out of three. <laughs> Alright, and now I've got a two-card advantage over the person. Doesn't mean I'm guaranteed to win, but it'll be hard for me to lose, depending on what cards they still have. Alright, so this is a relatively strong... Let's try and... Uh, another one? Alright, cool. This is a good, good, good deck to have. Alright, so I'm going to start with... This guy, so that everyone that I put next will get armor. They're probably going to do something to this, because they can't let it stand. Um, but, oh yeah, two armor if they don't get rid of my shield. So they're going to have to attack right away if they can. Ah, see, so he's going to move my guy over so that he's useless now. Ah, next turn. So I, I get at least one turn. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to put this guy, so that he's got two shields before he dies. Plus, I'm going to do this so he attacks somebody. Alright, cool. This guy's cool. He's a defender. It means only he can be targeted. So I'm going to put him next. Okay, so he's going to drop this guy. No, he didn't. That was very interesting. Oh, he'll probably drop my defender then. Or drop this guy. Um, tough choices. Tough choices. I'm just going to put him here because at least I get one round out of boosting him and attacking. He's got to drop this guy. There's no other thing that makes sense for him to do now. <laughs> Alright, I've won. I've won the whole thing. That's really cool. Hopefully I get some kind of prize. Some kind of um, Halloween prize. Alright, who's he going to move? It's got to be the guy in the middle. Yeah, okay. So he passes, but I've got this amazing dude. And I've got this to attack him. 
And then I've got this guy that I can put here and here, and then he'll get boosted. Alright, you found this forgotten dusty chest after your last battle. Who knows what's inside? That's a Halloween thing. That's not normally a normal thing. Alright, cool. So, uh, so I'm going to give him a good game. Uh, right. So I won two rounds, plus there's a bonus. Um, okay. Just take a quick look here at what this journey thing is for now. Alright, I got some keys, which are used to unlock certain things. Alright, so... Where do I find that chest? Let's see if I can figure that out. If I imagine... There we go. Forgotten Dwarven Treasure. Pretty sweet. Let's open it up. Yep, yep, yep. Boom. Alright, cool. So, uh, title is just uh, something that goes... I'll show you where that goes. So right now, I'm, my title is Nomad. So I can change that to Ghostly Warrior. It's just a trinket, as it says here. It doesn't really do anything. Um, but it does show that I played during Seovine. So you see it just changed there. Changed here. See these things that they want to use to part me from my money here. So we've got this, which gives uh, Shoop Skin. Pumpkin Head. Pumpkin Head Avatar. Pumpkin Head Title. It's only seven bucks. Mm, maybe I'll think, I'll think about it. I don't know. I don't really play often enough, I think, that it matters. Um, Cleaver's Ghost Skin. Oh, so we've got the Wicked Bundle here. Ah, this just costs powder. Powder is one of the uh, three fake in-game currencies. Chips Pumpkin Head. Pool of the Cat. Here at the Were Rat. Yeah, sure. I'll get the Wicked Bundle. Why not? It's fake money. So, there we go. Alright. That that fake money is basically used to make the cards animated. You may or may not have noticed some of the cards were animated, depending on how much attention you were paying there. I think I'm going to leave... Well, no, I'm going to change it to... Oh, who's this? Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll do this anime-ass thing here. We'll switch to our Halloween border that we just bought. Hey, very cool. Look at that. It looks like she's wearing a witch's hat. Of course, they did that on purpose. Yeah, so you see this card here is animated, so in the past I used some of that powder to make the guy animated. Alright, so cool. There we go. Alright. I think, um, let's see what we can do with our keys here. I was in the middle of doing this thing here. So, I can come get some more powder. What's in this keg? Some Northern Realms. All right, let's go this way and get some more powder. I don't know if I want to waste the money so quickly, but we'll just do that. All right, so I'll play one more round, or yeah, one more round, and then um, I think that'll be it for tonight. I've been streaming for. An hour 17, and a round takes, I think, about 15 minutes if everyone takes the maximum amount of time to, uh, to play. Alright, so this is cool. So now I'm playing against um, a different faction. So you'll get to see them use a whole different set of cards than I was using. Whereas the previous person had the same cards I did. Alright, so this is a pretty decent start. Uh, Alright, there we go. So they go first, they won the coin toss. Right now they're still picking the cards they want. <coughs> ah, so these cards have Death Wish, which means it becomes uh, against my interest to destroy his cards. And sometimes they destroy their own cards just because. So, um, even though this is going to clue him in not to put anybody in the back row, I'm going to put this now, just so we can get it going. Because I want to do uh, the mantlet next, so I can be protecting my people as I put them on the board. <coughs> oh, 
shoot, I was waiting for me. I was like, whoa, who's taking so long? I'm taking so long. That's the problem. All right, so he's going to trigger this guy's death wish without killing him, which means he gets a harpy, and when I kill him, he gets another harpy. So we're off to a quote-unquote bad start, but that's okay. We'll drop this guy in. And let's uh, make sure we, he stays alive. So these effects stack. So if that stays alive and I put this guy, then the next guy is going to get four armor. Unless he takes away their armor. So we have to see what this guy does. I don't know what Bale is. Ah, okay. That's a new thing since the last time I played. <coughs> this guy is lucky I don't have a Geralt right now or that guy would be dead. Okay. This looks kind of like, oh no, hopeless, but we'll see. Alright, so bomb everybody. And attack that guy. Okay. Thrive means if he's got more, the highest, um, what's that called? The highest, uh, the card with the biggest number up here, then he, he goes uh, up in score, right? Oh, when, whenever you play, you know, okay. It's been a while since I played. When he plays a higher unit. So he, he must have, like, some really big unit he's winning to play. And the monsters do have some really big units. They have some that are, like, 12 and stuff like that. Oh, this is a tough one, man. He That means he wants to put someone on the back row. That's fine. I will... I'll put this defender up here first, and then I'll put this guy next. Keeps everything protected. Alright, let's see what he does. I'm getting thirsty. Okay, he is staying in the game, man. All right, we'll pop this guy here. Your orders. And she's going to boost him. He's going to attack again. He could still win. You never know. But it's looking more and more like I'm going to be the one to take this. We'll see. He still has... He still has basically nine more points he can pull out of his butt. Plus the cards he's got up here. Alright, the timer started. He's taking too long to uh, do his turn. Yep, see? These guys have... Got some big... What is Veil again? Alright. All right, so I'm going to pop this guy here. I think I can put one more guy on this row. All right, he passes. So I should pass, because I'm going to win. <laughs> and I don't want him to have a card advantage over me. Right now, we've got the same number of cards. You really don't want someone to have a card advantage on you in this game unless you're a really awesome player, which I am not. Alright, this is an interesting round I've got here. Alright, I'm... What does disloyal mean? Oh. Right. They used to be called spies rather than disloyal. Alright. Uh, this is a toughie, man. I don't think I'm going to win. Oh, boy. All right, I go first. It's always a tough place to be, so you don't have the element of surprise. I'm gonna go with putting this guy up here first. Is to 
cut the camel's hair's nut. So I've got five cards left. I want to save this guy for last in case he has a card that's really high so I can just destroy that card. <laughs> All right. Got to see what devotion is. That's another thing. All right. All right, that's what I was thinking before when I said if you have the highest card, dominance is what I was thinking of. All right, I'm going to put this guy here, attack him so he no longer has the highest card because I'm going to boost that guy. It's going to be a very, very interesting round, especially if he doesn't have a high card because... I go first, which means I gotta use my card first. I have to decide, do I save it for the next round or do I use it? Sometimes I get bored and I just play with the scenery. All right, by consuming a card, he gains their life, basically. All right, so now what do I do? I think I play this guy. Right, I'm going to try and just take this guy out, because I want to let him get a guy up to nine so that I can destroy him. I should have brought this guy sooner out sooner so that he's giving points to this guy. By not bringing him out, I'm kind of wasting my opportunity to give people points. So I definitely have to bring him out next round. Very smart. He's keeping that guy from being um at a nine. So the question is, can I win? And the answer is, I'm not 100% sure. Down by... Or all right, so I think at this point I call it quits for the round because there's no way I'm going to win that round, and I'll just be putting cards down for no reason. All right, last round. So this is for all the marbles. Alright, so I don't care about that guy. This could be useful. Don't care about that one. Alright. He goes first. We'll see what happens. Alright. Um... Uh, so if I play this one now, I'll know what synergies I have, but it could go awry for me. So I'm going to play this card first. All right, he, and he's got plus six here, so I've got to be beating him by more than six to win. Well played. Right, I'm going to grab someone from his graveyard. Alright, I think the smartest one to do is um, this guy, in case he has a Geralt. play this guy. Alright, this does go against my thing of letting him get to, uh, 
to nine. Maybe he'll help me out here. If he gets to nine, then it's a no-brainer what I do. Oh boy. Alright. I want to get rid of bleeding, so I switched to this guy. I'm going to put my spy over there. Oh boy. So this is wasted. Can I do the other? Ah, oh, darn. Alright, well, whatever. And then Ronvid, the incessant. Alright, this is going to be very interesting. Depends if he makes one of his guys go up past 9. I have a feeling that he can tell that I can beat him. We'll see. I really want to get another Halloween chest, though, because I don't think I'm going to play this game tomorrow. We'll see. Alright. Looks like very smartly he did not put anybody up past 9. Alright. Basically, he wins because I. He doesn't have anyone that's nine or more for me to take out. I hate portals. Anything? Oh, I can flip that guy around. Alright, so I lose by seven. Defeat! Good game. Nice, I went all the way around, whatever that does. Okay. It's got a journey. May have gotten another two keys. And I did. Alright, cool. Alright. So we shall say uh that, that is it for tonight. Thanks for uh watching Noni, thanks for the conversation. Um and uh, thanks to everyone that watched me play Team Fortress and then, um, and then Gwent. Um, this has been Eric playing Team Fortress 2 and Gwent. I'll see you next time. Bye.